Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if, when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. I don't think they'd let me adopt a teenage girl. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no obviously not. If you just went in and went, can I have a teenage girl? <laughs> It's not like that. Say. I wouldn't say it like, can no, I have no, no, a teenage girl? No, you're, you're a man of cunning and great disguise. <laughs> can I have a, uh, mm, mm, a I'm toddler? thinking about getting a No, child. that will be a bit small, actually. <laughs> Maybe a um something a bit bigger than a t A bit more female than the male you've suggested, maybe. Uh, just uh, off the top of my head, thinking about the selection that you've got. Such a wonderful selection. It could be any of them, really. I just... Mm, the mood takes me for something a little bit more breasty than the uh, than the twelve year old that you've got on offer there. Maybe a uh, mm, a very buxom child. That that that'll be the one. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, and him, a big fat cunt. How are I, you? I uh, am not too bad, thank you. How mm -hmm. are you? Excellent. Good. Yeah. Let's listen to this episode. Yeah, let's um, go right into it. Alfie does a lot of impressions. Uh, yeah. They're not accurate. It's Alfie Brown, the guest today. You should say that. Alfie Brown is the guest today. He yeah. does a lot of impressions and they're not accurate. Really accurate impressions of Freddie. It's great. Best impression of Freddie I've ever seen. They are inaccurate impressions. Bang on. 10 out of 10. If you enjoy the impressions, give us £3 a month at patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod because if you don't, you're a big cunt. Uh, Shall we get to the episode? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hello. Oh, we don't need to do that bit. We've already done an intro. God, I'm tired. Are you okay? <laughs> Oh, uh oh, I said the wrong thing, all right? Okay. We, made, we all make mistakes. Do you try again. I'll try again. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a start. Let's just go in. No, we don't need to do it. Stop clapping. He does it all the time. It's it's good, though. It's like uh, it makes... You've got to have these little signifiers that something professional's going on. Thank and you. Clapping your hands, I think, is... Yeah, I tried to do that with the studio because it wasn't going to be the content of the podcast. Right, you ready for this? I was like, we just carry on, mate. You're, you're it's fine. Ready? Why are you making a clean break? Why do we need one? We're here with Alfie Brown! <laughs> How good was that? Great, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Right, love, was... Lovely energy. I am uh, quite happy because Alfie just saw me help two people. Right. The, the first two people he's ever helped. I yeah. don't think you helped two people. Right. I think what happened was you admonished one person and therefore helped the town. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it wasn't the old woman that you helped, was it? It was the old woman so, that you said, are you really going to park there? Yeah. And so, she went, oh, I feel bad now. And you stopped yourself admirably from going, it's because you'd park between two fucking bays, you mad old bitch. <laughs> Right. Park in one bay. So there was a woman. So this is your lovely story of so, being helpful. So, it, so it, it, we was screaming I, at an old lady. So, so you, he was very so you, mild mannered. So, yeah. You know that um, that's, that's a disabled space. I want to see a fucking limp. You know that. Well, she was spatially disabled. She was fucking rubbish. So you know spatially that, disabled sounds like a euphemism for fat. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie's a bit spatially disabled. <laughs> so, um, uh, you know that car park opposite us where yeah. we park? It's, it's, it's always busy. It is always busy. There's a it's little a, it's old a woman. thriving town, Horwich. It's always it's on really the go. It's really nice. Yeah. I'm always surprised there was a little how old nice woman. some towns are. She parked perfectly. The, the line between the last two bays yeah. was in the middle of her fucking car. Right. right, and as she's getting out, I'm saying to Alfie, "She's surely not going to leave it there." And Alfie's going, "No, she's just checking to see where the line is." And I was like, "Yeah, she can't see it because she's parked over the fucking thing." She went to get out and leave, and I went, "You're not leaving that there like that, are you?" Is and that how you phrased it as well? Yeah. And she went, "She went, w why not?" And I went, "Because you're in the middle of." It was Two comically days. central yeah. in them. It was like she was trying to floss her car on the white line. <laughs> Looked like Robbie Fowler <laughs> celebrating a goal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it was absolutely, it was fucking stupid. Yeah. And she deserved it, a lot. She, it, she, anybody who saw that would have been entitled to be less polite sure. than Freddie was. Yeah. And it was, I oh, just, you know. 
I think you should par- repark it. It was yeah. very mild mannered. Not, yeah, yeah, it yeah. does not befit your persona on here mm-hmm. uh, to have been as sweet as you were with the old woman who then got back in her car and changed it because you'd embarrassed her into doing it. Yeah. yeah. And then I, there was a dog who, you know, there was a dog maybe ran away. And may, maybe inside. escaped. It got around the corner. And I called it back. It's not big back news, that one. Right. Okay. No. That doesn't sound like anything, to be honest. But no. that dog could have walked out into the road. It sounds like it was relatively well trained. It does. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, with the immediacy with which you said dog and then pointed <laughs> yeah. it to Didn't house, even wait it for his name. Went back Just said, the... I'm one of them. Let's go check <laughs> if it's me. Right? Like when I hear dad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it could yeah. Be... Oh, no, 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 no. To be honest, that's just playing the statistics with yeah. you, isn't it? Just like the odds <laughs> yeah, are yeah, yeah. it's one of yours. Yeah, if you yeah. see any child anywhere in this country, it's probably mine. there is a 50% chance <laughs> the father is now in our studio. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm like the... Uh... The Boris Johnson of the stand-up comedy world. <laughs> Just breathing new taxpayers. It's nice keeping our economy going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to like. I, I'm the only one who seems to be concerned with population collapse. Yeah, like it's well, I, it is weird that you're only doing it because you hate immigration so much. You're like, in order to replace the labour of the immigrants, he's just making new British people. No, I'm going to start adopting soon. Adopting immigrants, <laughs> getting around the, the loophole that way. I'm going to adopt thousands of the cunts. Like, <laughs> to work in the NHS. Thousands and thousands of like just 35 year old yeah. qualified nurses. I'm going to adopt. This is my new son. Like, He's a 50 year old thousands, engineer. Thousands of daughters <laughs> and sons. And also... Weird if you only get daughters. It, if you well, only get daughters, that is a red flag. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. In fact, how many daughters should you be allowed to adopt before they say something? I don't know. After three in a row, I have <laughs> questions. Yeah, yeah. I think also, yeah. I mean, like, a, a certain amount of. Look, they've got to be keeping a close eye on you. If, if I, you adopt yeah. anybody. If I went, I've not I got, think, yeah, it's wise I've not got any kids, right? Uh-huh. But if I went into the uh, adoption clinic. Yeah, clinic. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. right. Carry, that is it. Absolutely Spot carry on. on. Nailed it once again. <laughs> and I sort of said, I'm looking to adopt Do you think a... it's a medical procedure? <laughs> <laughs> Well, what would you call it then? Centre? Yeah, that's better. The adoption centre. Just anything that isn't clinic. I'd Pro- probably with. a website. What yeah, about probably a website? Hut. Now. The, the adoption, adoption hut. The adoption <laughs> hut. The adoption... Yeah. Get your adoption half price. Yeah, like sunglasses hut, adoption hut. Yeah. I don't think by it, I don't think you should be making anything that serious. Emporium. Out of a hut. <laughs> yeah. You could have an adoption emporium. The wacky world of <laughs> kids are us. <laughs> if the R's backwards, don't adopt from there. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, a car boot adoption. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> yeah, you've got to get up really early though, because all the best ones will go. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine loads of kids on a wallpaper pasting table. Yeah. <laughs> you take fifty p for that. Anyway, you're at the clinic. I think that if I don't think they'd let me adopt a teenage girl. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no obviously not. If you just went in and went, can I have a teenage girl? <laughs> So not like that. Like, I wouldn't say it like, can no, I have no, no, a teenage... No, 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 you're, you're a man of cunning and great disguise. <laughs> can I have a... Uh, mm, mm, a I'm toddler. thinking about getting a No, child. that will be a bit small, actually. <laughs> Maybe a um something a bit bigger than a... T- a bit more female than the male you've suggested maybe i uh, just uh off the top of my head thinking about the selection that you've got such a wonderful selection it could be any of them really i just mm, the mood takes me for something a little bit more breasty than the uh than the 12 year old that you've got on offer there maybe a mm, a very buxom child that, that that'll be the one thank you so much I mean, if you use buxom in, in an adoption clinic they're gonna say no it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an instant like <laughs> what I, yeah 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 the minute you hear buxom yeah it's, yeah. it's one of the top 10 words i yeah, don't want to yeah. hear someone there's, saying there's a sheet of paper it says buxom and it says developed yeah <laughs> there's no, a few no, other no. things that you developed like developed is far worse than because bu- buxom is sort of playful and we're all doing a joke and it's yeah. fun uh, developed is like you are it's the it's what you're saying when you're seriously considering how this would go <laughs> And that, that's what, so buxom is a funny, absurd word to sure, use. Developed sure. is the, the word that you're using to try mm. and mm-hmm. actually envisage how this would go. Yeah, it really sounds like you're stifling an erection whilst you're saying developed. What I liked more about his um, uh, impression over yours is that he made me sound polite. Right. I don't know if he was doing a direct impression of it being <laughs> you, though. So I think if it was specifically an impression of you, there'd be a lot more of this going on. <laughs> 
everyone who does an impression of you does the brrr, so you know that's how you know it's you i don't think i've ever gone brrr, either but apparently i do it i all mean you the literally time. did right then so there's a gift to be made thank you very much yes <laughs> yeah i didn't think i was like that but yeah. It you also thought you were nice, so, you know, we're learning lots of things. It's, it, it is weird when you see somebody do an impression of you that everyone says is unnervingly accurate, uh-huh. and for you to look at it and to not see any of you in that impression. Uh-huh. Telling it, people that a shit impression of them is a good impression is my favourite form of, like, friend between friend gaslighting. Because <laughs> you can just make people believe they are a certain... That's such a good impression of you. I don't sound anything like... It's such a good impression. Really got your mannerisms. <laughs> then, Hello, that thing my you name do. is Freddie Quinn and I am from the north of England. It's a great day to be here in the north of England. I, I know you were British Asian. <laughs> no, I'm doing Jeffrey Boycott. <laughs> very That's much the opposite of a British Asian. Very much, yes. yes and yes. Uh, speaking of a boycott... Oh, oh, for fuck's sake, Freddie's segues are the worst things in the world. Yeah, Why? I like I like a good segue. What boycott are you, are you going to speak of now? Speaking mm. of a boycott, there seems to have been a bit of a boycott on Twitter these past couple of days. People trying to... Yeah, I'm really hammering this. I'm really trying to force this in. Want, this isn't okay. Try, what? have another try. Aye, okay. Jordan Gray got a <laughs> cock out on telly, and yeah. I want to talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought. Well, I, well, yeah. You you wanted to talk about it badly as yeah, well. Yeah, I know. Like, given it, how really not to torpedo an existing conversation. I'm to not make sure that sure we've come to the on. end of the previous riff. Hey, yeah. like, I mean, know, given I thought how... we were still talking about how many kids you were going to adopt, but let's move on. Let's kids move adoption, on. like it's Jeffrey over. Boycott. If you're enjoying so that, it's done now. That it's we could done. still address. We're going to do this now. I'll be honest with you. I tried to segue in when we were saying the word developed, but. Okay. So, yeah. Wow, uh, did I yeah. did I have fun watching people fucking lose their shit over that? Yeah, that's been mental. I, I don't know. I don't know if you've seen the clip, Alfie. I have. It's fucking hilarious. I have actually seen. Yeah, it. I have. I thought it was really it. funny. It's like, really. I think playing the keyboard with the knob is what a touch. Um, yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Jordan Gray is a transgender woman who was uh, playing a song at the end of Ben Elton's new TV show Live on Telly, and at the end of it, gets completely naked, whips the lady knob out, and plays the keyboard with it. It, it's fucking hilarious really good liked yeah. it a lot and basically it's... everyone who uh, has been protecting free speech in comedy very bravely for years is now suddenly very angry at it yeah <laughs> i mean my big problem with it was uh, that it's the end of her show that she does mm. she's still got to play the palladium yeah so that's like the big re- that's reveal the end. it's like if, yeah, yeah. if they were playing clips of various films at the oscars and the clip they show the sixth sense is like oh i'm dead yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've been dead for ages. It's like, oh, well, I won't watch it now. Yeah, but you still want to see that ending. Though. The I, difference I, I, is, I know, I know. it's still going to be spectacular. I know, I'm only... Anyone playing a keyboard with a knob, I'm down for it. Yes, and do you know what? The interesting thing is, uh, is that uh, it, there's a great tradition of uh, heroes of the day playing piano with knobs. Yeah. Um, because that used to be uh, Zelensky's act before he was president of the Ukraine. He used to have an... You can find this on one of your videos and we can all watch it together like your podcast is. And um, (laughs) Zelensky used to play the piano with his cock, but not with his actual cock, so it's not as impressive. But him and his mate used to do a a bit um, uh, and uh, they used to just bonk their penises on the keyboard it, or it I can't like tell that. if you're taking the piss Just fucking I, google it I, I will I will google what do I even put in uh, Zelensky, Zelensky penis piano I guess <laughs> 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 now we've got to watch me try and spell Zelensky. I'll put an extra S in. Like I was trying to be fancy. Yeah. Uh, Zelensky penis, penis piano. Keyboard. Uh, keyboard. Uh, I got a keyboard. So. Uh, well, there we go. No, okay. First result, Vladimir Zelensky playing piano with his penis. Vladimir. Uh, that is incredible. Uh, Aye. But could he do it if he was on HRT? That's the question. <laughs> Warning. That's the uh, that's the could he do it on a cold rainy night in Stoke? Uh, <laughs> could he do it on if, 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 an, if somebody is taking that as a and, and they're trans, then it's not R, is it? Mm. It's just HT. It's, just, it's HT. But it might be replacing their their yeah, hormones. Yeah, it's though, still yeah. replacing yeah. stuff. Yeah. Isn't I don't it? know. I don't know the rules. Yeah, look, like don't worry. Not knowing things has never stopped us commentating. Okay, great. <laughs> just don't clip it. And then I mean, finish. of all the things, that's not going to be the thing yeah, that, that turn it up. Us. Turn it up. Let's get some volume. Turn it up. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. They're not really doing that. Not no, really I don't think they are really doing it, you fucking idiot. No. 
<laughs> okay, stop it. Imagine anyway. losing a war to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to email this to Putin, just like, lol. I mean, like, vibe-wise, that is the opposite of Vladimir Putin. Really is, is. Really, really is. In terms of what he thinks constitutes uh, an appropriate world leader, yeah. that is not the behaviour that best befits the uh, leader of uh, the Russian state, <laughs> is it? Um, but, uh, no, I thought it was great. I loved yeah. it. I thought it was a great bit uh, on Friday. Was it Friday Night Live? Yeah, is that a new programme yeah. all of a sudden? Yeah, it's Ben Elton's back because TV's got no ideas. No, OK, Ben Elton's <laughs> back. Um, but like, I wasn't expecting anything genuinely like cool or interesting to happen on a Ben Elton show in 2022, but it fucking did. So fair play. Yeah, well, fair play. I mean, this is the thing. Like, it's so most most of comedy is so boring yeah. nowadays on TV. It's so yeah, Alfie is on quite a lot to the point of it being dull. <laughs> I don't take any of this back. It's sanitized <laughs> to the point of being yeah, yeah. complete bollocks because they're afraid about upsetting anybody. That actually to have somebody playing the piano with their dick, even if it isn't funny, it's interesting. And fuck me, it's like a thousand steps in the right direction. Yeah. But no, I just totally. find it so well, funny. Also, that... like, it's, it's, it's brave, it's subversive, yeah. it's cool. Um, and It's literally everything I want a comedian to do. Yeah. You know? And I want to look at yeah. every comedian's knob as well. So I was glad that I had a little look. What yeah. I was extre- I, When I get nervous, you know, yeah. before you go on stage, adrenaline. you get butterflies. Oh, you, God. The adrenaline, you're just, like your little gut, you're, yeah. your dick old button mushrooms, doesn't it? Yeah, Jordan's been doing that show for a while, so maybe he's got used to it and seemed, you know, fairly confident in doing it, to be fair. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if yeah. there's the same sort of nerves I'd have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd have to take a few beta blockers though, just to make sure. <laughs> You'd definitely be tugging on it midway through the performance. Yeah, 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 You'd be giving yeah, yeah. it a little rub, just try and like lean it on the corner of the piano while you're playing. <laughs> just rubbing up and down the stool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to get a come bit. Come on, come on. I, but, like, um... I have found it really funny that like Lawrence Fox obviously has had a big kick off and all those sort Mate, of people. Hey, he fucking posted the video yeah. and then he posted like a little line, like it was a fucking war poem. Yeah, yeah. it was like you, you watch Jordan fucking Gray getting a dick out. Yeah. And then you say, like, they will not grow old as we grow. It's like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing? They're all, they're all like, oh my God, a penis? What if a child saw it? It's like, firstly, have you heard of the watershed? Right, there is a time where we stop considering children on TV and it was after it. And secondly, if they see a penis, that that inherently doesn't do any harm to them. If the penis fucks them, it's bad. But if they just see a flaccid dick, That's what's so wrong with true, that? Actually, yeah. Thank you, mate. I'm um, quite profound. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, also, if a children's... Hit, like, what were you doing most of the time as a child other than playing Willy Banjo the whole time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I was just... My all, dick was, I was on doing, every I was doing instrument exactly in my that. house. It's yeah. not like that that, that. that was just every other day for me, yeah, yeah, putting yeah, yeah. my remember, Willy on the piano. Do you remember you were trash? when you were growing up yeah yeah that was on channel four that was fucking far worse well this is it like well the problem the thing is with those sort of people the reason that i hate all those fucking grifters who like their entire livelihood is pretending to care about free speech is they are pretending it is bollocks because as soon as uh, someone who isn't uh like basically a white guy does something they don't like you'll notice they came after sophie duca for a joke they're coming after jordan now well i it's actually just someone who doesn't fit what they fucking i want, actually they... went on trigonometry didn't i yeah so i, I told you not to bother i went on trigonometry when um uh it was during lockdown sometime and it was when uh constantine was moaning about sophie duca doing a joke about do you remember the kill whitey thing yeah, yeah where she yeah. said we don't want people to kill White. oh we do oh we don't one we of don't. the most pathetic controversies there's ever been so i said I, my basic point was that you can't you can't chastise um sophie duca for that but then also be defending Count Dankula for making a pug do a Nazi salute. Do you know what I mean? You're going to break the table. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, carry on. Get my big fat dick over the <laughs> Um and, and that was the that was literally the kind of logical counterbalance that you provided him as an example of yeah, why he yeah, was... Yeah, I said, not... I, I said, you can't... Look, you, you can be against both of those things, or you can be for both of them, but if you're for one and against the other, then the actual underlying argument is... It's is you don't have any women. logical consistency. Yeah. It's it's there's something else other than defending comedy, and it's the same thing here. And I made the same point to him yesterday yeah. on Twitter, and once again it was brushed off because they go, "Oh, I don't think it is the same." Yeah. I had people going, "I don't think it is the same because uh, Jerry Sadovitz, uh, he just got his penis out, but Jordan Gray got her penis out and played the piano with it." It's yeah. like really, it, that's it. If I was going to um, be the voice of Constantine, which I I can't provide, I'm not nasal enough. <laughs> um, 
but if I, if I was going to do that, what I would say <laughs> is I would say, uh, uh, isn't it just that there were ramifications for Count Dankula, but there aren't for Sophie? And they've made the same point. Rather than hating one joke and loving the other, isn't his point that there the, 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 there was very little ramifications for Sophie and lots of ramifications yeah, for Yeah, but Dankula. the point should be that there shouldn't be ramifications for Count Dankula, rather than there should also be ramifications for Sophie. I think that is pushing it in entirely the wrong way. I, and also I, the, I agree, but isn't, oh, I know isn't you do. his point yes. that, like, that there should be it should be one or the other exactly as you said yeah it but like he's, be... he, he's arguing that there should now be consequences for them which is arguing i think in the completely the wrong direction and is but more isn't that harmful. based on the fact that there have already been consequences but it's also it's an entirely different thing isn't it it's an entirely different thing like you know being on a channel four show getting a penis out isn't the oh, same as being on your youtube I also channel, wouldn't you know? like i wouldn't uh, equate them as kind of parallel yeah, yeah. crimes there's obviously like a silly kind of throwaway kill whitey whatever and i, th I also and... think dan killers was a silly throwaway thing intended you know and the consequence for him was a massive career you know it's well it's, this is it but <laughs> it's like he had 40 followers well, before look, it now he's them, got millions both, like, good yeah. on, you know fair play to him whatever i don't fucking both care, of but... them both of them are somebody quite clearly making a joke yeah however the context isn't specifically a comedy show or program yeah. so, so so there's an intended leap of faith that you have to go yes i believe this person's joking and providing that you make that leap of faith everything's fine but if you willfully decide not to make the leap of faith then you can draw all sorts of ridiculous and silly conclusions yeah. but my point is and it always is with shit like this is choosing whether or not to be offended or whether or not you decide something should be freedom of speech or whether or not it should be cancelable. There's never an underlying moral code that goes along with it. It's mm. always whether or not you see yourself in that person yeah. that did it. It's always to do with that. That's it. That's, because that's... because right-wing people defend right-wing people mm. and left-wing people defend left-wing people. And there's really nothing else to it other yeah. than that. I, like, I have a real problem with people who pretend to be, um, you know, being just like they're like I, I believe in free speech and there shouldn't be consequences for speech for anyone who then you know try and turn the exact same forces they claim to be against on people that they don't agree with but I there absolutely there shit. absolutely should be consequences for freedom of speech for some like, like, yeah yeah sure like so because without it you could have like advertisers would be able to tell yeah, any, exactly. any yeah, sort yeah. of bollocks yeah. fucking you know, like it's the same. You know that Jonathan Pye thing where he says, "I want there to be people to be able to say racist things, mm. and so I can debate them." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, you're definitely a murderer. Yeah, let's, yeah, de yeah, let's yeah, debate yeah. it. Like, I <laughs> saw you do an awful thing to yeah. several. Like, let's have a debate people. about how many kids you fucked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's de let, let's just debate it. Yeah. You can't. Free speech has never properly existed in the way that people claim it once had or did. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. impossible to. Did I tell you about? Um... Uh, Jamali Maddox, right? So I used to be like, kind of like. This you is know, about shouting racial stuff, um, by the way. This uh, is. <laughs> yeah, it is, kind of, <laughs> no, in a way. So we we're talking about uh, hate thy neighbor and all that stuff that he does. Yeah. I was talking about like debating these people and stuff and whether or not mm. there should be things that just are not debatable from the outset. Mm -hmm. And he said that with stuff like, if, if you're debating a racist, if I'm debating a racist, there's nothing for me to lose. Like, if I don't win, what happens? Mm. Nothing. Mm. Whereas with him, he's debating his right to exist. Yeah, I think that's fair. So, so there's like, th there's got to be some things that are just, you know, off the table and just have to be taken as, as sacrosanct. Yeah, yeah, but that's a development and that's a process. Like, mm. whether or not it's okay to sacrifice your children in honour of the sun was once like a debate that people had <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and now it's like no we mustn't actually yeah uh, now the thousands of years later we actually realize oh no that was oh, i hated it when we did that <laughs> um and now like that's how that's like like morality is something but it doesn't exist mm. it's something that like numbers like it is it, it, it has an objective practice but only in the realm of what it is that we perceive to be the world fuck me so like, um... <laughs> you've really brought the tone of this podcast you? you've really brought it up a level it's never normally like this so <laughs> all i'm saying is that yes you do everybody needs to debate everybody and there are obviously nobody wants to debate things like whether or not like rape is okay mm. but there was a time Andrew tate does and I don't know who Andrew Tate anyway, is. That's that... another one of my things that I've just chosen. Well, you don't know who he is. I know yeah. that he's like a guy and he goes You'd like, really like him. 
He's uh, there. Uh, he's he's one of these people that you see on like reels who's yeah. going, hey, the, and you've got a microphone there yeah, and yeah. like big writing, and he's going, the human brain emits a toxin, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and, the, and the, it, when you have testosterone, the high cholesterol of the red meat means that you're a yeah, proper yeah, yeah, person, yeah, yeah. and that's sort of my <laughs> guess about what he'd be like. But really, I have no interest in ever finding out. Uh, he's a, like a uh, the 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 da- the more damaging kind of waffle runoff of the uh, Jordan Peterson problem. Hello, I'm filming this from a sex dungeon. We're filming a Patreon only special and you can check it out at patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod. It costs three pound a month to join and for that you get to watch this plus loads of other amazing content and trust me, you don't want to fucking miss it. This looks like an ISIS video. Yeah, so uh, on on those kind of guys, I've actually got a fucking beautiful example of one of these blokes. Oh, what uh, a great segue! Well done, Rob. thanks, mate. That was actually smooth because it was actually relevant. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the difference, mate. That's how you do a segue. So this guy is uh, this has gone pretty viral in the last uh, couple of days. Right. So here's the thing with these people: you can already I, tell I have a real problem with anyone professing to be a philosopher who's also wearing a hoodie. Yeah. I just. <laughs> 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 you'd, you'd never see Socrates in yeah. merch, would you? Like, yeah. <laughs> a pop a tie on. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, this guy, uh, as he's, what I love with them is when they uh, try and sound scientific in order to sound intelligent. Like, this is a classic. If example. I put the seat up to urinate and then put it down after I'm done, at your request, that is two seat repetitions per urinary event. This arrangement means that if you go into the bathroom, you can just sit down and urinate and leave with zero seat repetitions per (laughs) urinary event. Would it not then be a fair and equitable marriage arrangement, creating a scenario where we are both responsible for only one seat repetition per urinary event? And she's gone. (laughs) 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 It's amazing, isn't it? Per urinary event. This is like if Opta Sports did bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, it's so wild. And like, uh, f- uh, for the record, the, the, the XX music was already on this clip. No. People didn't add it to take the piss. They added that. I who, honest- who is he? I don't know. Who is she? I, I, what, I like, don't know. They're podcasting. Yeah, this they, is as much as I know, right? I, I, you've seen it. And she's, they've got, they're a couple who's got a podcast yeah. together. Yeah. And later on, she's like, Paul Smith you know that bit where you sound worry. like a cunt? Yeah. Do you want to clip that up for us, please? Yeah. Like, let's like, see what everybody makes of that, you fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, he's absolutely right, obviously. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it's it's a good opinion expressed badly. Uh, yeah. It's also like, it's just, it's, it's trying to make that opinion to have like intellectual heft yeah. when, you know, it's, you're talking about this. Yeah, it's a repetition yeah. per urinary event. I think if you've had something that could be described as a urinary event, it's gone really That's much worse stunned, than a piss, isn't it? Yeah, uh, something. A urinary event is it, like if I piss. It sounds like a naked Martin video. <laughs> <laughs> Those are urinary events, I suppose, aren't they? It's uh, it's wild, isn't it? Like, yeah, they, these sort of dudes are a scourge of the internet. There's a really, and this happens in football more and more now, where people talk in kind of highfalutin terms about. Mm. So there's the, uh, the people kind of uh, attack the third space in the yeah, counter press, yeah, yeah. and then they make a, a ball progression, yeah. carrying, and then sometimes progressing the ball with a putt. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just say he passed it to him and then they scored a goal? Yeah. Tell you my least like, favorite. You can't, and Marxists as well. Yeah. You want to speak in this obfuscating language, which is an ironic use of obfuscating. Yeah. And um, and um, <laughs> and so that you can't can that you can't converse with them because yeah, yeah, what yeah. are you talking about it's like in friends when joey uh rewrites the speech with synonyms uh, yeah, uh, like yeah. his speech from monica and chandler he rewrites his whole speech yeah, with synonyms yeah. and renders it sort of meaningless that's yeah, what yeah, every yeah. marxist or uh football tactics blogger or bloke on the internet like that yeah, sounds yeah. like you don't need to speak like that. It's totally unnecessary. Like, have you have you seen uh, my favourite football one? Is scanning right? This is a big one. That's <laughs> all about all the time. Oh, yeah. Look at right. how he scans. He's looked around. Right? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Watch this footage of Prime you know how... Chavi to see how he scans the pitch. Yeah, he's looking to see where players are because he's playing a game. Mm-hmm. His know... ball striking's terrific. Though. You know how strike. we're uh, <laughs> talking about this sort of uh, uh, needless verbosity? Yeah. 
Uh, is now the right time to talk about uh, the story of centrifugal force? Well, no, I didn't think we would finished it. You can't wait to move this pod along, can you? I know, he's fucking In going. the middle of, like, what's yeah. a, a developing interaction. Yeah. Sorry, I'll just be quiet. Then. Just fucking you're crashes so into the fucking... conversation like the fucking Kool Aid man. <laughs> Similar shape. We we can speak about yeah. that. Absolutely. Yeah. But we're, I in, mean... um, we're in the Mayflower once, which is a Chinese restaurant in uh, Liverpool. Yeah. It was me, Alfie, Adam, and I want to say someone else, but I can't remember. It was um uh, uh, Milo. Milo, great. Milo McCabe and Adam Rowe for people who aren't ass up on the northwest comedy scene. Uh, and. Uh, Alfie was talking about his book or something yeah. and used the term centrifugal force uh-huh. and it upset a group of Scouse women so much. They that weren't they... Scouse. Were they not? No, they were based, they were in London, they were up on work. Oh, I was really and I pissed. was talking in like, I just didn't know what to do. There was the, like some, everybody's being offered a book deal or whatever. Like, or, yeah, there's so many book deals that not even being offered, but like the, the tentatively talking to people about mm. what it might be like to write a book. I fucking hate it. In my opinion, there should just be no more books released for the next seven years. <laughs> Give us all a chance to catch up. No <laughs> more books for seven years. Yeah. It's true. There's we still quite go- a lot from the 1800s I've not got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me a fucking minute to read these fucking books. Oh, it's Alexander de Tocqueville. It's Zadie Smith. She's got about fucking seven. Yeah. I've not read all of those yet. And she's one of like 98 other people. I've read Bel Canto just, just and Patchett. Just don't read. No, like, no, just... no, no. It's <laughs> yeah. good to read. It's been Come working on. great for me. Come on, Dead Men Talking Podcast. Come I, on, uh, listener. Let's all read a book, I shall will we? Audio <laughs> I'll, I'll audio book sometimes, but yeah. I only like nonfiction. I right. got in trouble um, with the... Uh, I said on Twitter yeah. uh, that audio books aren't reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got in trouble with the blind community yeah. who said that it was reading. As a representative of the ADHD community, very ableist what you've just said. Very yeah, ableist. Yeah, yeah. Well, but yeah, it, it, yeah. Wicked, it wicked, ableist, massive. It quite literally <laughs> isn't reading. So like, it, yeah, quite it quite literally, literally isn't, isn't reading. reading no. It's it's listening. Yeah. Well, one of them said, you have no idea um, how upsetting it was for me to read your tweet. And Hold I on, went, if you're blind... You, you, you didn't read the tweet. You had an app read it to you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you didn't read the tweet. But like they can read with Braille. That's reading. That is reading. That's reading. And that's what I said. They said, yeah. "Oh, do you not think Braille's reading?" I go, "No, no, no." Because Braille the information, is definitely reading. Yeah. The, the information is coming to you at first source, mm. whereas being read to is being read to. It's a yeah. different thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what an audio book is. I'm not trying to fuck with you. I and mean, you're also not saying it's not a valid experience yeah, yeah, as yeah. valid as reading. Yeah. Being read, it's fine. It just isn't what it is. How uh, anyway? That goes into another sort of like a. Uh, uh, trigonometry esque debate about how much you want to uh, save people's feelings uh, to s- s- make things up. That it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, it's reading, you're happy. Yeah. And they're there. It's patronizing. It's yeah, shit. It's bullshit. Anyway, um, that was being said because of what? Why? Oh, the main Centrifugal, centrifugal yes. force. And these, uh, there was a two women and two men on the next table. Yeah. And they, I could just see them looking at each other going, can I look? And looking over at me, because I just used the phrase centrifugal force, about the idea of building momentum. Like, it was 5 a.m., and if I use a cunty expression every now and again, I don't have to be drunk for that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's just being in your company. What well, I remember, just, what I remember is being... that they were so upset, they turned round and had a go at him for using the well, term like, centrifugal no, force. No, I said... As, as the idea of centrifugal force being insanely pretentious, is that what they're saying? Yeah, I, yeah. As, a, as a sort of metaphor for me building momentum in my career. Right. Like, So if I had the centrifugal force of a, of, of a book or something, uh-huh. building off the back of that to, ha- to make the best of other opportunities, Oh, you do sound like a cunt. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It was, I don't. I don't mind that. Like, how often? Like, if you're, if you stop what you're doing every time you hear somebody that sounds like a cunt, yeah. then you're just never going to get anything else done. <laughs> you had to like, move away from London. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Bloody sure. hell! Something cunts. I remember the only time I've ever done it was when I was on a bus, and there were two school kids who were in a couple of years below me, and one of them went, "Hey, bruv, you got a girlfriend?" And he went, "Nah, man, that's gay." And I went, no, come on, mate. You, that's wrong. You just, all, you've got your words all mixed up there. That's not what that means. It's the only time I've ever interfered. But it, what actually <laughs> happened was this table of other people. They started whispering and laughing about me. And I went, sorry, are you all right? Oh, and then oh you called it. I called it. Wow. And then they went, yeah, sorry, it's just centrifugal force. <laughs> you sounded ridiculous. And I went, you can't speak like that. And then told me that I couldn't speak like that in a conversation that I was having with people they didn't know. And I went, sorry. Just looking around, you, they're probably uh, not getting uh, it. Do you, you feel like that? I fucking owe you something? 
Like, what do I owe you? Why do you think you're entitled to like what I'm saying? I, You've got nothing. You own, no and the fucking Chinese waitresses had to come over and go, oh no, please, could you fuck off out of the restaurant, please? And we've got booted out the Mayflower. Yeah, because he used the term Because I used the word <laughs> centrifugal force. And I then remember, we were outside and Emmanuel Sanubi was there. there. I, yeah. remember, I remember at one point, <laughs> really uh, weird. I remember at one point, he, he just stopped everyone and went, how am I the arsehole in this situation? <laughs> I just found it so <laughs> Oh, that was great. Yeah. What a great night. Yeah, like, I, you look, right, you did sound a bit of a tip, but it's not yeah. enough to get involved with from another table. Look, and like, who, I've heard people being a cunt a lot. you got to keep it to yourself. Who here hasn't away. sounded a bit of a tip from time to time? Yeah, I've done a lot of cocaine, so loads of times. Uh, it's re it's expressions like centrifugal force, uh, I think, are the main contributing factors behind me never having done cocaine. Sure, yeah, because you're already there. I'm already there. <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't need, I don't need yeah. supplementation. If only department. most comedians had your level of self-awareness <laughs> and had I done a decade ago, that would have been very good for me. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I didn't need it either. I'm already a lot. I, I mean, think I've been in your company. I'm sure you uh, have. No, but in, in, a, in a late night house situation. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I definitely will have done then. Yes. Good evening. Yeah, yeah I used to hate <laughs> yeah. you when you And that uh, was the night, when... talking of cunty things to do, that night I'd just been paid 500 quid for a gig. <laughs> And, uh, through and, I, and I threw the wad at him. And what, the, at Rob? Yeah. That's and, funny. And then the next day I had to go round yeah. to his house. Like, can I have my £500 back, please? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't quite all of it. I think it was like it was like 80 quid or something. But he threw in this little, like, he'd fold it up into a little, like, square or something. Because I'd said something complimentary about you because I was trying to, you know, I was trying to help you out with the, you know, the situation you were in. I was being a good wingman. Mm -hmm. right? I was like, oh, Alfie's dead good. So I was like, ah, here's the payment for that. I flicked it at me, went down my pants. I found it the next day. Wow. Yeah. You've just remember. You've just reminded me of something that I did on a comedian's house party thing. Uh huh. This was years ago. Yeah. Is um, this gonna be a fun story or a sad one? <laughs> it's pretty. It right. Okay. I don't think it paints me in a good light. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh, God, if you think you look a cunt in this story. Oh, I, I do. I do look a cunt in this story. Let's so I used, to live, I used to live in Manchester uh, with a comedian called... I don't know if you remember Lewis. I remember. Yeah, yeah, last, I liked him. Yeah. yeah, good guy. Yeah. I, um, he'd split up with his girlfriend. Um, I moved into their flat. Mm -hmm. um, we lived Performed there the same for a couple, of, a couple of days. And then Slightly bigger tits. I came, I came back from a gig one time, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be really quiet because he's in. And, um, you know, he's, he's clearly probably in bed. I thought, oh, I'm quite hungry. Should I get a pizza? No, I'll not. I've got some pasta in the fridge. I'll have that. Mm -hmm. Sneaked downstairs, sneaked into the kitchen. And I saw fucking a girl on the kitchen counter. And they were shagging just above the drawer where I keep my forks. Right. So I was like, I guess I'll not do that. Anyway, he's married to her now. So, um, <laughs> yeah, shout out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Also we as might well, have to beep these also, names, Edison. Also as well, ah, fuck it. Yeah. Um, also oh, yeah, because well, they won't be able to get that one. What? You're not surprised that they're watching this back so, and can rewind. Uh, also, one time they were fucking, and uh, this is mixed race. Uh, you need to know that uh, for two reasons. Number one, for the story to work. And number two, great guy over here. So, uh, was mixed race. He, well, he still is. I'm waiting for a story to happen. This is mixed race, and he uh, was fucking his girlfriend to the soundtrack of Django Unchained, which I thought was weird. Mm, that's technically reparations. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can I ask... Oh, right, the, what the bit bad story. Doesn't, but, yeah. Did you get the fork? No. Yeah, that's the bit that's bad, in it? When he goes, excuse me. <laughs> My crave right. Excuse peas. me, I'd like a fork, please. <laughs> that and was... I have one of the forks in the drawer. That I is need bang to on. Eat that my pasta. I need really to eat good. my pasta. Yeah, he's You're really both... got you there. He's got <laughs> this to... 10 out of 10. Really good, that, mate. You've been practicing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, those were both preambles to the, the main event story. Right, okay. right. So, we're, we're having a little bit of foreplay Ooh, for a little starter. Yeah. We're having a little amuse bouche before we're, kiss around the nipple. Mm. We're having a uh, we're having a house party. There was a few other comedians, and I was very drunk. And I think it was on some sort of drugs, but I can't yeah. remember what. Gaviscon? Right. <laughs> Take a next scene, you can swallow them. It's much better. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I brought this girl who uh, was a mate of mine, uh -huh. And uh, do you remember a comedian? 
I do, yeah. He uh, tried fucking her in Again, my... just bleep all these names to be safe. He tried fucking her in my bed, and I found out and chased him out with a knife. Yeah, it doesn't make you look great, mate. Yeah. I... Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, are, yeah, yeah. you are admitting to quite a serious crime. No, I'm not. What crime? What do you Chasing mean? somebody out with a knife. That's yeah, that's, a, that's, that that's, that's the bit that's if illegal. a crime. It is threatening Chasing someone with a... a knife is illegal. He didn't know what... <laughs> He didn't know what I was doing. What a ridiculous... What do you mean? What you a had ridiculous... a surprise knife. Why was the knife even there then if you're not waving it about? Uh, I was buttering him some toast. Yeah, I bet it's to be fair. Just, I was just oh, hungry. is that the kind of knife? It was a... No, it was no, a... no, no. It was a... It was a knife knife. A carving knife. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you say he tried to fuck her, was he like trying to seduce her or was it just like logistically not happening? They were both in my bed under the covers. Right. And so that for me is enough for... But why would you fuck someone in my bed that I've brought round? Fuck that guy. That was your property, wasn't it? <laughs> no, he stole but, that off you. No, but that's I mean, what you sound like. No, no, it's not. And it's like, it's, it's not. fair game to shag someone in a random bed at a house party. It's not a random bed. If you're if you're having a house party, someone shagging. Was in your it bed. a house party or was it just a gathering? It was a gathering. It was magic. The gathering, and it really got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, a gather- How many people were there? A dozen. Mm, also, you're on the cusp. A dozen. I've hey. I've shagged people at a party with less. A really fat comedian was also there, and he was taking loads of coke. And he, sh- he chased him out with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't help but, given how you've behaved so far, his <laughs> name is quite a glaring omission from yeah, the story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A fat comedian. Now, what was it? All Fletchley and bollocks and all now suddenly there's <laughs> names like off, off. we don't all have friends that sound like they're in really blight and novels yeah, i'm just i was <laughs> misremembering the people that you've already said <laughs> charter house or whatever he's called <laughs> <laughs> no that one was for you okay um i was i was playing well, your got, game you, you've got to give him uh, you've got to give him a little, little leeway he's got to remember like all his kids names because that's going to take up most of your memory isn't it i, I do well, i can't remember the people from your story eh? yeah. and but what i'm saying is so this fat comedian you has gone nameless yeah. unless you were looking in reflective well because he's also <laughs> <laughs> he's doing cocaine off a mirror. Look at this fat cunt. Like the old Woody Allen joke. Because he's, yeah, 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 yeah. he's also quite sad, and so I feel like if he listens to this, he'd kill himself. So okay, okay. That's right. why. Uh, Let's. Well, we're going to bleep all the names anyway, so um, we'll just go. Fat comedian. Why did you bring him up? I can't even remember now. <laughs> I can't even remember because you interrupted me. I can't remember. After your start to this podcast in which you were coming in thick and fast with segues wanting to keep the momentum yeah. alive, yeah. now you seem to be sort of stuck down a fat comedian's suicide cul-de-sac. <laughs> and it's where I've been trying to get in for ages. <laughs> Finally, uh, we're here. Now, let's have a think. <laughs> <laughs> Where can we get strong rope? <laughs> <sighs> That's good. Yeah, he tried to put his head in the oven and started licking it. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, like I don't think you should chase people with knives, mate. No I, matter who they're shagging. I think you should be a bit more mindful when you're coming around someone's house. A bit more mindful. mindful. Mm. Was he not practicing enough mindfulness? <laughs> Is that what you were doing when you were chasing him with a knife? Yes, yeah, practicing being mindful. Is that in one of Gwyneth Paltrow's <laughs> books? Is it? If someone's shagging your property, chase them with a knife. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I brought her. That's mine. <laughs> I was listening to the Headspace app at the time. That's where it was. It was such a Zen space. How long ago was it that you chased someone with a knife? You can't, well, chased is a strong word. Probably about, I can't imagine there was that much chasing going on. Manchester's so probably close to 10 years ago now. Right. Yeah. Uh, What's the statute of limitations on knife crime? I don't know if there is one. No, I, no, no, no. It's not one of those things. It's not quite credit card fraud, is it? <laughs> like, if, you, if you've knifed somebody, yeah, they you've always wa- knifed them. Yeah, I it don't think you get expire. it wiped off after six years. <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't chase people with knives, mate. You mustn't. You mustn't do it, no. Have you no, chased anybody with a knife since? No. Is no, that your only a... time you've ever threatened anyone with a knife? It shouldn't be this hard to remember. Because um... if you ask me how many times I've uh, threatened someone with a knife, zero. Zero, yeah. Zero I don't times. think zero yeah, for me as well. Yeah. I, I, I would have guessed. If I had to threaten somebody... It would have been you... a shock. I quite often, though, get the Santoku knife out of the drawer and I, and I tap Jesse on the shoulder and go, have I ever shown you what I'd do if an intruder came round? And then I 
go like that with the knife a bit. Yeah. It's one of our fun in jokes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. If you if an intruder came around your house, you get a fancy knife. Got my Santoku knife. Yeah. Mm. I don't even know what that is. It's like a vegetable kind of. No. I imagine if someone broke into your house, your children would just swarm them like the beetles in the mummy. <laughs> just get covered. Mm. You're really obsessed mm. with him having lots of kids, aren't you? Kids. One of these jokes is going to land as well. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Fuck you. Uh, someone in the comments will say it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, th- I suppose there would be an, an immediate intimidation before they s- like finally like the ants, uh, ants and the grasshoppers. Yeah. Until like the ants, not until the ants realise we outnumber them, and then they go, no, they could never know, and that's what any burglar would be. Do- but uh, anyway, we live in a block of flats, so we don't, we're not going to get burgled. <laughs> <laughs> Just because yeah. it's safe, isn't it? Yeah, it's just the uh, nobody burgled like logistically difficult. It's just logistically difficult. Mm. You've got to have a garden really to get burgled these days. Yeah, yeah. I live around. You old could women. get burgled. Nah. I could burgle you. I, I live around. Very old remote where Freddie lives. I yeah, don't but even. It's like still... I don't even lock my door. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> What's Th- worse? Then we really stealing? could, but uh... mm. exactly. You've been my house. Just fuck all. Though. I imagine there's just a very flattened sofa. Uh. Yeah, that's about a nice right. armchair where I slept. I've yeah. actually uh, got rid of that recently. Oh, yeah, no. Got rid of it, or somebody burgled it. And now you're just <laughs> trying to cover your sat on it, snapped the legs. <laughs> it was actually it was kind of robust like that. It was, uh, it, but and it needed to be. Yeah. Uh, we watched uh, we watched the NFL at my house. Uh-huh. We watched the Super Bowl. Didn't uh, we? Super yeah. Bowl final when all those rappers started. It's rapping. not it's not Super Bowl final. It's just the Super Bowl. No, no, no. It this was one was the, called this the one was the final of the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, it's the yeah, last one was, ever, was yeah, it? Yeah, it was definitely final. very different. All oh, right, yeah. yeah, very different. Yeah, yeah. And then we watched all those rappers coming out. Yeah, that was fucking great. Best Super Bowl halftime show I've ever seen. Fifty Cent hanging upside down. Fucking amazing. They were very old people. Yeah, it really it did bum me out a bit because watching that I was like, ah, you know, because normally the Super Bowl is like for old people. They have like Bruce Springsteen or someone that you know dads like. And then mm. I was like, oh look, all these people that I oh no, oh no. I'm the dad now. There's certain things that I just don't like. There's a certain kind of pop music as well that gets to us. You get to a certain age. You, go, you should not do that music anymore. The like Offspring that, like, are my number one example. I saw them when they were like 50, and it was embarrassing. Yeah, yeah like yeah. you can't be 50 years old in board shorts. Like Trey Cool from Green Day mm. should now have got it's out. Uh, it's, it's, it's Trevor. It's, it's, it's Trevor it's, Cool. It's, it's Bernard actually. I've, <laughs> I've just, let's let's just wind that in. Forget about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't need to be called Trey anymore. You can. You can also like you know when a footballer gets a certain age, mm. like James Milner. Now when he comes onto the pitch and he's in a full football kit, yeah. he looks insane. <laughs> like he looks insane every time he's playing football. Get the football kit off. You're yeah. 35 years old. You it, look ridiculous. It looks like soccer look, aid. Yeah. Let's <laughs> say like yeah. Jamie Carragher got to an age where yeah. he just looked insane wearing a football kit. Yeah, those are my favourite footballers though. Ones who look like they shouldn't be doing it. Andy Reid for his entire career. Yeah. Just looked like a bloke in the pub who'd put his shorts yeah, on Yeah, Steve as well. Stone. Yes, exactly. Richard Dunn. Yeah. Richard Dunn. Yeah, let's just name some old footballers. Yeah, that's <laughs> always a good a good fun thing to do yeah. actually. In a pub, one of my favorite games. Yeah. I uh, have another Football thing. Footballer 20 questions. Are you a fan of Derek Akora at all? Um D- Derek Akora is the one who summons the dead. Yeah, the scouse so one you... who goes, ah, I'm getting the dead guy, ah, but he's not got a oh, purple bin, so fuck him. She's grandma, she's fucking sound, <laughs> man. Oh, she no. says she fucking misses you, lad. <laughs> you're a proper, oh, you're a tear away growing up, weren't you? Ah, oh, yeah, your grandma just told me, lad. Oh, I'll keep that stone for you. Yeah, 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 sound, sound. Anyway, anybody else got a dead relative? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 you. Who you missing, lad? Your uncle? Oh, man, he's up there having a bevy, just sound. He says, see you later. Yeah, 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 nice one. <laughs> I would watch that for <laughs> I would watch that what, for a Paul full Smith ghost fucking... hunter. <laughs> hey, um, I'm getting your nan. I think she's a bit of a nonce. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a nonce, eh, lad? I'm just <laughs> slagging it up in heaven. It's <laughs> getting fucking ribbed by Jesus. Um, so, so anyway, that's Derek Akora. That's Derek Akora. Uh, ghosts. Uh, ghosts. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> I couldn't even be asked. Ghosts. Go on your uh, thingamajig. Go on so, my thingamajig. Uh, go on your Gmail because yeah. I found a great uh, video today. Uh-huh. Um, oh, yeah. It's about ghosts. It's the top one. You've missed it. Right. Um, <laughs> the one that says ghosts. Yeah. Uh, so if you click on this, yeah. it's a little video. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And this is about ghosts. 
go. This is a house in Gainesville. It is not a moving company. No, not at all. <laughs> but if you do move in, you haul yourself right back out. It's like a revolving door. The How's longest. It? So this is a house mm -hmm. with ghosts uh, that's supposedly haunted. Can you tell me what is specific about these, though? All right. Anyone stay? No, just pause in... it. Right. Have a guess. What I'll guess is... what's specifically about these ghosts. What makes them different? Scouse. From... No, they're not scouse. Right. Any uh, ideas, Alfie? Oh. Are they fat ghosts <laughs> that eat all the food? No. Right. No. We're in Texas, so I don't love. <laughs> where <laughs> not he's going. Not yeah. racist ghosts. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh. A, a pillowcase. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's good. Uh, uh, um, these go. Uh, uh, oh, they're go. They're ghost hookers. Yeah, and they so, fuck so, you. so these oh, are. Yeah, right. You've just read are, the title. Nice. These that was are. Smart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a clue there. I, I should have thought there of that. There was a clue. There was a clue. <laughs> so, so this is a woman who claims that she her house used to be an old bordillo and is haunted by sexy, kind of rapey ghosts. Right. So. Yeah. Okay. This house was six months. Linda Hill says she and her husband had no idea why. In Every mirror, American voiceover after sounds like this. tenants moved out in less than two years, someone told them it was haunted. Did you actually believe that? No. That changed while she was taking a shower. And I was in here. With Through the curtain, a dark figure whispered, looking good. And then he turned and walked off. Linda assumed it was her husband until... Her husband walked in. And he said, who were you talking to? And it was like, oh my God. He swore it wasn't him. It really is haunted. Rumor has it, the house the used to be a bordello. Which may explain why the ghosts here are, how do I say this? Sexual. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. No other way to put it. Audio recordings have caught the ghosts talking dirty oh baby oh baby that's yeah. not a recording yeah i like it like that play the recording and i would like uh, to talk about something else like uh this door which is pretty snug even when linda pounds it shut it finds a way to open for those reasons <laughs> and many more linda gave you up put that sound under tenants. anything it sounds and sinister house a name hill house manor where people can now investigate for themselves. Even though she no longer rents out the house as an apartment, she still has the same problem. I just got rimmed by a if ghost. You come here. You do right, not it. want Right. So So the evidence she's got is that door popping open and her going, Oh no, I've got a recording, but I'm not gonna play it. Yeah, because you don't hear the music as well, the bow and the wah 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 wah. Why do yeah. they have the What's spooky about it? I think it's trying to raise tension. I don't know. It's just trying like to make a clock tense. is like, oh, no, oh. time again. It's why I hate, like, a lot of American TV. Like, all that stuff, like, um, like you know, the wildest prison in America, whatever. It always has that tone of just like, bum, 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 dum, 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 dum. And I'm just like, I'm just trying to chill out. Also, why, like, these dead uh, sex workers. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Why are they in death obsessed with repeating mm. what they did for a job yeah. forever? Maybe they just like loved it. Yeah, because for them it wasn't a job, it was a way it of was life. It a passion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, like, you know, if I was haunting somebody, I wouldn't be, like, going up to them going, so I'm 35 years old now, I'm yeah. middle-aged, so, you know, I'm obviously, you know, not traditionally middle-aged, but the amount I drink, I'll be dead by, you know, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> like these jokes. Yeah, I... I, I... I, I don't I don't mean to be mean, but I feel like if I was a, a sexy ghost, I feel like I could do better. Well, <laughs> of all the people in the world that you would perv It's not on. my first haunting. <laughs> no. Yeah. I think I'd I'd be in I'd be in a different shower. Well, you could no, but you can't if you're a ghost you can't move, can you? You sort of have a an area that right. in, that you have to inhabit. So you've got to roam like a couple of rooms just yeah. with a horny ghost boner waiting for it to happen. Yeah. Right. But you can walk through walls. I wonder what the ectoplasm situation's like. <laughs> Probably power washing it off walls in there. <laughs> Muriel, you got your ectoplasm all over me face. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a, like an incredible marketing strategy from I like, this place. I like, like the come, idea. To come here, you might get bummed by a ghost. I like the idea that it was one ghost that was like, Do you know what? We get such a bad rep. I'm just going to give people compliments today. Yeah. I'm just uh, going to wank someone off, make look, it feel nice. Looking good. And then now it's sex haunted manner or whatever. Yeah. I, um, so they can open doors, but they can't, like... They're incorporeal, so that means they can open a door, but they can't, like... Can they create some sort of, like, yeah. vacuum with dark matter that... 
I mean, it's like a it just seems like that made of doors the... very tight, and I imagine it's just you know changing temperature and pop it open. It's... I think that's very naive of you. <laughs> <laughs> Do yes. either of you believe in ghosts? No. No. Yeah. No, no, I think um, like I don't mean to be mean to people with different beliefs, but I do it does make me think you're a bit thick if you believe in ghosts. Yeah, yeah, it's like adults that like Disney. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's, it's the same. Use of Pixar, which of course is fantastic. Yeah, like, no, I know, but you know when Pixar you get those is a adu- loophole. You know when you, you know. get those adults that are like really into Disney. Yeah. No, I no, I try not to keep too much of that company myself. But yeah, um, <laughs> they they very much exist, like Disney people. I don't. Know yeah, any. it's like it's it's yeah. just like that Harry Potter sort of fandom, when you get forty year olds that say they're Hufflepuffs and stuff, and it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know a few of them. Um, Disney has a real intense strain of it, like you know, the sort of people who go get married at Disney World and stuff. Okay, wow. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah I, uh, I very like very briefly dated a girl. I went back to her house and it was full of Disney shit, and I was like, this isn't. Gonna Really? No, that's. A I real... didn't immediately. Obviously, I wasn't. I didn't walk in and go. No. no. I politely had sex with her first. <laughs> <laughs> that's so. Because I am a gentleman. Yes. Yeah. Well, how heavily into Disney was she? Like toys, posters. It was just, like a lot. A how lot. old was she? Twelve. <laughs> I mean, like, how old was she? Was oh, she? Well, she, it was like uh, it was when I was at uni, so she'll have been like twenty, twenty-one. I was the same. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And there was posters. There was like. Yeah posters of like toy story or whatever. honestly it freaked me Not out toy less... story like disney like disney disney, disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah like cinderella yes like beauty and know, the beast um... that shit yeah princess yeah. aurora yeah. princess aurora yeah all that sort yeah. of shit it's acceptable for you to do that because you've got so many kids i've got how many though how many though <laughs> fucking loads i've seen so many disney films and <laughs> <Okay>. um... <laughs> yeah. but yeah it's, it was to a degree where it's like yeah nah I was less freaked out by the uh, the racist punk band posters in the other girl's house. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. You were less bothered by yeah, I think probably. a screwdriver than that. <laughs> I'd be more likely to go out with a screwdriver fan than a Disney fan, I think. But both kind of uh, industries and cultures have at their root a rich history of anti-Semitism. Yeah, they're both quite united in yeah, a weird yeah, way. Yeah, not Different aesthetic. As, not as far apart as you'd re- immediately yeah, yeah, yeah. say. Is that really Disney's? Well, like, uh, Walt, Walt. Walt Disney was a virulent anti-Semite. Yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He was like way into being an anti-Semite. What's that film like... called about him with Tom Hanks in it? Uh, the Jew Hater. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The Jew Hater? Uh, no. I mean, was... you think Mel Brooks? <laughs> Mel Gibson would be... <laughs> Fuck Mel ah, Brooks! Mel ah, Brooks! I hate the Jews! <laughs> I'm a, I'm a self-hating Jew. I'm a self I don't know what to say. Uh, fuck, I was so close to making uh, a funny joke. But joke. very far away. Uh, yeah. You were... What does it Mel Gibson called that police officer? He called the Sugar, Sugar Tits. Tits. Yeah. Which is Funny. a swing. Do you know what though is is like I didn't know that um, uh, Disney was anti-Semitic. I don't know if the I don't know if the Disney Cor- like if the Disney Corporation are watching and they always are. Um, I don't know if they currently are. But I think, when I you think know, I think was. that I think that I think they they put that on ice when they put him on ice. Yeah, I think they've got other issues, but like I don't think if, I don't think the the anti-Semitism is quite yeah. as when strong as it was. When you see some of the uh, you know the cartoons yeah. from like back in the day, Disney, there's a few background characters in Dumbo that wouldn't get animated again. Hi. Uh, hi. Yeah. Uh, oh, the yeah. crows we as well. We were yeah. gone. Like... There's a there's a lot of stuff now where you're like. Eee, hello. It was a different time. Well, I noticed when they remade Dumbo, they uh, they glossed over those bits, didn't they? Well, yeah, because they were making a live action remake. It would have been quite a lot of effort to go to, to make racist crows in that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do want to see what makeup choices they made. I absolutely do not. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. uh, just thought I wanted to show you some. Uh, well, thank you for that. Sexy yeah. I ghost. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm a bit underwhelmed though, to be honest with you. I was hoping for more actual sex stuff than you look nice and I'm opening a door. Well, I, think I that's thought it's funny. Yeah, no, but I thought she was going to be like, yeah, I get fucking railed by ghosts. I thought <laughs> that she was is like, what I was. Expecting. I thought there was going to be a train run on. There her. is that woman in there who, who claims that her boyfriend's like a ghost pirate and shags a egg. Get that up. That would have been better. Get what up? So, so right. If you type in. On YouTube this morning, uh, ghost woman <laughs> pirate. I'm not going to do that. It's nice showing each other YouTube videos, isn't it? I've had Christmas <laughs> days like this. <laughs> each member of the family gets to pick a YouTube video. Better lasted fucking ages. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> well, well done. Of them. Loads well done. of kids. Got so that's many why. kids. Loads Loads of two of them can't sort of functionally choose things. Um, How old are they? 
Um, they are six months and two years old. Those ones. Thank God. Particular. Thank God. I was. Yeah, I, yeah, you no, know, I was I, thinking I, about doing a whole like you know. Yeah, um, didn't get enough oxygen, sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, that yeah, might yeah. be the situation. An old stuck in the birth canal vibe. <laughs> Great band name. Stuck in the birth. Yeah, canal. there's one of those evergreen shits yeah, sideways. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, right i'm not going to do that but i think we should uh show off some videos before we go some of our yep. very special videos yep. on whatsapp yep. so um if you are new to the uh podcast perhaps you are a fan of uh alfie brown's highbrow cultural comedy uh and have come to this and you or his happening. uh f1 alfie yeah. likes the f1 yeah uh, i have watched half of a race once wasn't into it Right. Um, I watched it a lot felt, in the nineties when just nothing else feels was. Feels like it's just going round. Well, it, it just feels like it's just. It's just going it's round the in sa- circles. It, it just feels like it's the same. Like it, it feels like something that could be done in about twenty minutes. You sound it's a exact- shit sport. It's yeah. the shit season for it. Last the COVID season weirdly was pretty good, mm. uh, but it's uh, like everything else. Like 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 football sort of become the joy has sort of been. Uh, taken away by yeah. lack of fair competition, and uh, it's just a bit crap. I feel very underwhelmed by football, and yeah, yeah. I, I feel underwhelmed by football this season, also. <laughs> It's been a rough one, uh, but yes, uh, we do get. So, uh, if you want to send in a video or anything, send it to oh seven five two zero six four four nine three one on WhatsApp. Send us the worst thing on your phone. No racism, no kids, no animals, no death. You know, death. If the, if we may be unsure, then fine. Um, yeah, but, we are on the side of caution, and we also have a rule that if you can get a video with all four, it's fine. No, that's Freddie's rule. You got to send it to him only. I don't want that on my hard drive. Thank you very much. Uh, we got sent this in by. What are the f- rules again? Can I have them again? The rules are no racism, no racism. Yeah, no kids, no kids, no animals, no animals, which is annoying, but it's illegal. Uh, and uh, no death. But what if it's just like, oh, my animal does the funniest thing? If it does the funniest thing, but people keep sending us videos of people shagging animals. Right. Yes. I uh, yeah. yeah. I had a guy in my class called uh, Bebo Katib. Yeah. And he probably would take a Patreon. Us, uh, uh, all to his. Um... So he was called Bebo Katib. Bebo Katib. And. <laughs> yeah. um... And it, it was in an early rap group. Uh, so <laughs> next to MySpace Jackson. Yeah. What the fuck is Bebo Katib? It, it, it was named by Scatman John. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, he was very keen to show us all a website at his house called farmlove.com. Mm. Ah, good lad, Bebo. An early classic of the genre farm love. Yes. I've, ne- I, I, I've seen kind of, I managed to not see very much of it, mm-hmm. actually, having never been to Bebo's house. But he did once get... Uh, suspended for putting it on the uh, computer in the IT centre. <laughs> well, Bebo would fucking love this shit. Um, Bebo, if you're listening, yeah. I hope you're all right. Yeah. Because <laughs> so, you didn't feel like you were going to be. Yeah. Um, Runs an animal you. shelter now. <laughs> <laughs> Only adopts female ones. I like it because she fucks the horse. Yeah. The uh, saddest looking cats you've ever seen. Uh, is there anything in particular that like uh you like uh, turns your stomach or whatever, you're like, nah, I can't watch that. No, I'm fairly resilient. Yeah, nice. Uh Freddie, it's baked beans. Is it? <laughs> Just baked I've beans. never I've never had a bean. I, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I uh any bean. No, no black no. beans, pinto, no, harry no, no, black of, eyes. Of course, I'm not some sort of Philistine. Okay. I've just never had a baked bean because I don't like the idea of them. He doesn't like the idea of them. Have you ever had a harico bean? Yeah. Sorry. Harico bean, like in a salad or something. Well, a salad, so who am I talking to? I mean, uh, maybe I mean, I honestly, on a burger or something. You I, might have had it in a chilli. I honestly thought that you said Haribo bean at the beginning. Ha- harico. That's the fattest Freudian <laughs> slip. <laughs> a Haribo bean? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I had a no, bean. I have no problem with the bean itself. Right. It's I, just the, I it's make the chi- wet. I make sort of shininess around the bean. The phlegm. Yeah, it's it quite viscous, isn't it? Yeah. So for example. Yes. But the, he loves the... a, a pasta sauce. It's the same shit. No, it's not the same shit. <laughs> How angry he got! <laughs> How fucking dare yes. There you. is a sort of kind of gummy mucilage to the uh, baked bean consistency, isn't there? I'm gonna have Thank to Google you. mucilage. It's a yeah. great word. It means it's, it's like really good. Gum it's the third time the... today that he's used a word that I don't know what it means. Yeah. But... You just sort of like just went. <laughs> yeah. So, so the thing with Alfie is that he will drop in words that you've no idea. He's got to work out from the you context. Just... You just it. trust that he knows. Well, I you said just... gummy beforehand to let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. Leaves you little breadcrumbs to go. Mm. I'm going to use a big word here, and yeah. then you go, oh yes. It's like when I, uh, like, occasionally I try and challenge myself. I'll read a New York Times long read, and I just have to keep keep right clicking words to learn them. 
yeah. That's, that's how, how I learned words. It's yeah, not like yeah. a, oh, you know that word. Yeah, I read it and then I looked it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm not special. Yeah, yeah. yeah but the fact that, okay, so, so that's not the impressive thing. The impressive thing is that you absorb it and you add it into the little file yeah. of facts of words that you already know, and then you have it on hand to pull it out and use it as and when you need Freddy it. Because Freddie loves using big words, but slightly wrongly, and it's really fun. <laughs> it's really fun. He does it quite a lot, and he'll do it on Twitter, and I'll reply pointing it out, then he'll delete it. Yeah. happened once. How tendentially of him. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> There's a burn you'll never understand. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking thick cunt. How? What did he say? Tendentially. Yeah. It was the wrong word. Right. Uh, it was okay. a joke. It was, it was, it was well, a joke. Well, I'm googling it right now. No, it's, no you don't. No, need you to, couldn't possibly use something with Lee at the end. Of the <laughs> it's clearly the wrong structure, isn't it? If you... So anyway, no or, animals. You, no why, fucking why animals. Why would you put an adverb there? No or fucking or harming animals. Yes. Tendential yeah. or tendential adjective. Having or showing an intention, tendency, or... I don't even understand. Right, okay, carry on. The Let's Googling go hasn't this. helped. I don't even understand the fucking explanation to the thing that he just said. Right. Fuck this. Right, go. So, tendentially, I'll move you on to this. Um, there is... Um, there, right, so what we've got sent here... Is, we've got sent... We normally, we get videos, but I want to show you a sequence of photos first because we got sent this by about eight different people. Right. Uh, oh, so, okay. So, like, whenever something horrific happens, we immediately get sent it. Like, so here's... Number one, this is a guy oh! who has tripped over a spiky fence, right? I have yeah. done similar and ripped my trousers off before. Mate, right? his torso looks like fucking Poseidon's hat. Yeah, uh, I would say his torso is not the bit I am most concerned about. Here's number his two. His willy. Here's number two. Oh, it's not going straight through his dick. It's not It's not. Not quite. There's, All right, so, there's so number three. Do you want to go to like, image number three? Yeah, but the bottom half of him looks like the Simpsons. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> but what? It's his, it's his ball. His bum is his bollocks. Is his bum? His bum is his bollocks. Here's the, here's the See, that's four. how quickly we ruined Alfie. Before it, tendentially. <laughs> before it, tendentially. Afterwards, his bollocks is his bum. Yeah. Um. Oh, they're, come on, load number four. Why is it being so slow? Is there a video to go along with There's it? There's not a video. No. It is pretty. Kind of thankfully. It's pretty rude, that isn't it. But his um, life is finished. His it's over. Yeah, He's got oh, his ruined. Why is? Why is it funny to look at his ruined life? <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, I... It is quite funny. It isn't is it? a little but bit funny. But it's his ruined life. Not just oh! his life. <laughs> it's not his ruined life! Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! I mean, look, you can live after that. Fucking hell, his, his testicles been to Download Festival. <laughs> <laughs> Where did people find this? It looks like he's in the this? Legion of Doom. <laughs> and why? I don't know. Like, they just send them the to us. Oh, it looks like one of those sea creatures that has an interesting nose. Mate, it looks like he was in charge of Germany in World War One. <laughs> you got a fucking narwhal bollock. I just wasn't expecting that. I, I, I mean, I know that what the podcast is and everything, but... Does all the viewers get to see that as well? They, yeah. they do if they sign up to Patreon. Uh, yeah, oh, right, three that's... quid a month, you get to see a man with a bollock like a manatee. Yeah. <laughs> is it legal? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Sure. Why not? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not... Rob's computer, isn't it? Yeah, it's not my, not my computer. This is a this is owned by the company that you own half of. So. Uh, no, it isn't. Um, right, we'll, we'll go for a little lighter one. Like, we'll lighten it up. We'll go for one that doesn't involve injury and not horror, you know, for <laughs> a second. That looks really funny. It's really funny, isn't it? It's really it's funny. Spiked right through. And look, he will be fine. It's only one bollock. It's everything. It's his whole fucking lower abdomen. That's just like a little, you know, a moose No, bollock. the bollock... The... <laughs> The bollock is the worst injured bit. I think he's all right apart from that. He's been in... It's, it's not the only spike on the railing, is it? And it's the only one that's gone in him. Look, we'll have a look at number three again. It's, I think it's the only one that's gone in him. Look, he's, he's gone between... Oh, no, that one's gone through his leg. It's, all right, that one has gone through his leg. Uh, but he'll survive. I don't understand how he's got there. How has he got one got leg there? under it? But is, there's, how there's is one bar... leg under it? Mate, is they're both under it. How is it? How has how he done that? Right, oh, here's what he's done. on his bollock yeah, and then his legs have swung back leg, underneath. Yeah. So his so legs he's are hung fine. there by his bollock. Yeah, his bollock so is the only So he's actually hung there by his bollock. By his, now it's, it's actually funny. better now. now yeah, it's funny. loads better. Yeah, it's just the bollock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he's going to be fine. Yeah. But just to have uh, a bollock missing. He's got nice legs. He does have nice <laughs> legs. So that's yeah. a little consolation for him, isn't it? Shame. Terrible bollocks. Yeah, shame about the fact that he has to spend the rest of his life with a testicle that looks like a Digimon. Yeah. I reckon if I was going to get injured anywhere, I'd probably go there. For the great reason that... Yeah. 
Yeah. Got loads of children. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon you should just put a plug in it like it works in a vape shop. I think, no. one of, I think you should have one of those holes of no yeah. air, like yeah. an indie exactly. band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what you meant, sorry. That's what I said, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go on. You went vape shop. Yeah, I went yeah. vape shop, yeah. That's oh, hello. Cool. Right, sex. Th- uh, this one is uh, Freddie's mum, uh, this one. Well, it's obviously not your dad, is it? Could be. <laughs> oh. Oh, the belly button. Oh. That's Fucking a good the, trick. Yeah. Fucking the belly good button. Trick, isn't it? That is a good trick. Why is yeah. she moaning like it's sexy to her? Maybe she's into it. Maybe that's her kink. Some women get quite aroused by the old TW, or at least to, you know, purport to. TW? Titwank. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I didn't, yeah, didn't get the acronym. Uh, never had a titwank. Never really seen the point. Uh, don't really, you know. It's good fun. I mean, if someone like, if someone was like, uh, yeah, then I'd be like, all right, but I'm never going to request one. No, 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 no. It's like a... Yeah. Uh, I've got a request. One. Well, no, like you know, it's not. It's not top of my list. No, it's definitely, below, it's below hand stuff for me. Yeah, it's like my... it's like um, you know, a, a Bowie and Queen under pressure. Like you're glad if it comes <laughs> well, off. But I would have. Thought... But you're not going off. You're to not the putting fifty p in the jukebox. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird because that's what I sing while I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> do that now. Do that now. Uh, okay. Um, um, anyway, I I'd, I'd do that. I, yeah, I'd give that a bash. Yeah, I always assumed. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd a, have to be drunk. I always thought that a tit yeah, wank was casual sex. Um, I have to be drunk, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I always thought that a tit wank was to be used as part of, <laughs> part of a balanced diet. Do you know what I mean? Like right. you were to sort of have a tit wank, but not let that be the it only. Explains thing a that... lot that you think a balanced diet is five hash browns, a pint of coffee, and a tit wank. It's <laughs> mm, not very much fibre in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, in in that I didn't think that you were starting and then finishing to completion. I no, always thought sure. it was something that was to be done alongside other I'm, things. Look, I'm sure a tit has been rubbed on me knob at some point. Yeah, you know, and the there's fray. usually, if you know, everything's to scale, mm. there can sometimes be quite a pleasing gob at the top of a tit wank, <laughs> uh, which sort of uh, doubles it up as, sure. a, as a blow job, doesn't it? <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> Certainly does. It yeah. certainly does. What Is a great there a market to, to listen to you describe things sexually? <laughs> yeah, I think that's so, yeah. really funny. <laughs> it used to be like when I first started, I I that was how I got laughs on stage, which yeah. I would just do describe uh, sex. I acts. had a um because you know when a uh, Rihanna and CeeLo, that Rihanna released uh, that song "Chains and Whips Excite Me," but then mm. CeeLo yeah, yeah, came yeah. out with "Fuck You" and he had to change it to "Forget You." Yeah, and I went, "Is it really? Are we saying to children that it's like more appropriate that somebody's talking about chains and whips exciting them, like introducing a young newly sexualized audience to the idea of sadomasochistic sex, than it is that we hear "Fuck You"? Are you, yeah. are you insane? So I." Uh, 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 invented a time being on um, uh, local radio in which I uh, said, no, I certainly think that's um, that's the right way around for, for things to go. You know, and Rihanna's a very attractive woman. I would, uh, I would, I would love to spread on her flesh toast the curd of my virility. Um, I would, <laughs> I would, I would Genuinely find a hermit beautiful. for the home who spits children. I would find a home for the hermit who spits children in her haunted house of monthly blood. Wow, uh, and there were loads of them. It went on for ages. Yeah, uh, and that was it. Was one of my you know marquee bits when I was eighteen. There, I um, there is a market starting only fans. But you mm. are right though in that, like, just because you're not swearing, like, if if you listen to Fifty Cent's Candy Shop song, mm. it's yeah. literally like, please, uh, Grandpa, use this relevant my, example. Back in the day when I was listening to the wireless, you had a vividly <laughs> send so on there. You had a so vividly send on. on the wireless singing about his candy shop. And if you wanted to lick a lollipop. It's amazing. A lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like, I think his main argument is that song sounds like a lot of wasting of sweets going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where to put your Harry Bow beans. <laughs> So, what's your point about 50 cents? <laughs> I was just saying that, like, that is that was like an overtly sexualized song. What? And just because he's not. What do you mean? You're not doing this to me. What do you mean? Candy candy shop. What's sex all about? Candy I'm not shop? even. I'm not even gonna. What do you mean? I'm not walking down the path that you I can't want remember this conversation. What the, I, can't, I genuinely can't remember. Can you what get the on a mobility are. scooter and ride down it? <laughs> yeah, it's all like, oh, let me fucking. <laughs> No, because he'll do an impression, and then we'll be back to square one. No, right, ignore it. There's nothing great. That was a great bet, Alfie. Can't believe you dropped it. Good job. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Next f- 
fucking video. Let's go watch a man get raped by a crocodile. Right. Oh, it's okay that way around, is it? <laughs> if the animal's fucking the human. I think that is actually fine, yeah. We actually no. decided that a couple of weeks ago. No, it's not there, Was fine, there a though. woman who died by a horse cock? Yeah, I think there's, there's a bunch of like urban legends about it, and I okay. don't know whether one exists. Yeah. I've, I've, def- I've seen a video of a woman sucking off a horse once, um, covered in cum. Really? It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Weirdest thing was, she was naked except for a baseball cap. <laughs> <laughs> just think that's it was really... probably was it, was it on backwards no it wasn't actually it was front way yeah. okay yeah. Yeah. the horse can I imagine it would you mind love your peaks bashing me shaft <laughs> I mean that was quite good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we will uh, we've mentioned him earlier actually but there is a, a particular friend of the show called Naked Martin I don't know if you're aware of his work yeah, he yeah. knows yeah. Naked Martin because oh, yeah. today we were chatting and Alfie said something like, I can't wait to see a man get bummed by a dog and mm-hmm. have an old woman shove jam up her urethra or whatever. Yeah. And I sent him a screenshot. Very progressive that he said a woman with a urethra, though. Of, um... Oh, no, I've just realised women have them as well. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was a different name for the piss hole for a second. No. No. Urethra Franklin. <laughs> That's the third time we've had a urethra Franklin joke on this podcast. Is it really? It, it is. is. That's the third, third time. different person the to third... do a urethra drag. It shows something where... about the decor. Yeah, it shows where we're fishing, doesn't it? It shows the pool we're fishing in. I swear to God, if anyone else mentions urethra Franklin, <laughs> we need to make a statue. It's unreal, isn't it? Or maybe there's like a um, uh, like a, a a thing going around comedians who aren't you. Mm. Um, every, are you doing the we, we're on a WhatsApp group. Yeah, but he's of one of them. He's one of the people who's done one. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And then the other I, one was... I think it's just, you know, uh, if you, if a lot of people are catching salmon, you're probably running a salmon farm. It's, probably, <laughs> it's, it's that sort of thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on then. Can we get this fucking thumbnail of this woman so, fucking this belly button? Or getting her belly... Anyway. Yeah, getting yeah, her belly button us, fucked. Um, so us. we're going to introduce you to Naked Martin. All now, right. he's a, a bit of a showman mm-hmm. who likes to um, perform stunts. Anyway, here's... I wouldn't a... call them stunts. It's sort of a stunt. It's sadly evil can evil, is it? <laughs> I mean, he's going into... Oh, and he's danger. shits in a bucket. So, here we wow, go. that's liquidy It's poo. loose today. Martin, I check He needs to be working on his fibre as well, I know. Normally, he? he's very solid. This one's a little... Uh, to be honest, I think this might be anxiety. And he's having a piss. Ones. He suffers with anxiety. I do want to say it's to Martin... It's not the camera angle of a man who suffers with too much anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say thank you, Martin, for this exclusive. He sent us this before he tweeted This it. is an exclusive. It's exclusive. He DMs us sometimes and sends us little special ones. There we go. There you can see. That, that is a shit in a bucket. Poo and piss Oh, he's going to add a little food. bit of Lily's that dog food. That is Lily's. It's expensive. I know. That. It's high quality dog food, that. Yeah, it's expensive as Lily's yeah, dog he's food. Not, he's not fucking about. Oh, so he's on. a Fulham fan. And no, he's not actually. He's an Everton fan. But um, to, to just we, we need to segue that. To, uh, to be clear, he got that on him because there was a point where he used to go to stag do's with people, and for a certain fee, they could tattoo him, and a, a bunch of Fulham fans tattooed him. Right. I, I he's a... an Everton fan. Perfect. Yeah. What's his job? You're looking at it. Right. Content he's a creator. he's a content creator. Okay. He makes personalized private uh, requests and stuff. You can hire him to make videos, and he'll do it for a fee. He will do just about anything, and um, and he okay. And does he get, does he have a Ko-Fi or? A, yeah, I like think that? you just uh, just can't go to his website. Google Naked Martin, you'll find him. He's got his own website. You can. You, contact I imagine him you've probably him. been quite good for his biz. We hope so. I hope so. We, we we've had a couple of videos made just for us as well. So uh, that's uh, nice. But this one is a particular classic. So let's get back to it, shall we? Sorry, yes, please. <laughs> just get that dog food in there. Yeah. Now you go into the bucket. There we go. He he looks anxious in this video. It, he, it, I can tell it's not one he's loving. Uh, dog food and poo and wee mixed together. Oh, did he piss in the bucket as well? Uh, yeah, not that it's really it. relevant, I don't think. I mean, yeah, you might just need a bit of acid to break down the sort of fats in sure. the dog it's food. Sure. Like adding a splash of red wine to a bolognese. Yeah, it'll just deglaze the. <laughs> well, yeah, he's of not the deglazing the bucket, is he? <laughs> You need a bit of acid there just to get the uh, yeah. the font off the bottom of the bucket. Sure, there we go. That's lovely mixed up. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Lovely mixture. Here we go. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I don't no, feel no, like no, this no. is enough plastic to put down. Oh, he's sponging himself with it. Fetch the magic sponge. I'll tell you what, Martin's looking older though, isn't he? Well, he will do. He's aging, yeah. yeah. I mean, Not it's even naked Martin is immune from the ravages of age, but he... <laughs> I mean, you think with so many skincare regimes, <laughs> he is exfoliating regularly. Yeah, but with what? 
the turds and dog poo. Dog food, sorry, not dog food. Dog food becomes dog. I wonder what he ate to create the poo mm. that's mixed in with the dog food. I'm sure I've got the video of that. Probably a cum butty knowing him. Or does he eat a lot of cum? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, we've got videos. Oh, of his cum, used. other people's cum. I think, yeah. No, 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 You know it's bad when he whips out the slices of white bread. It does mean because the bread's really dry and not buttered. It really like the texture gets in more than the content. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's the first time I've ever seen Naked Martin get. He's normally oh. got a resolutely iron stomach. Oh. He said that it was the dog food that did it. Naked Martin. Oh, yeah. Well, he looks nice. God. He is genuinely a lovely bloke. Yeah, well, you'd have to be. You can't go around with, you know, fucking flinging your ego everywhere and then eating your own <laughs> shit in a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's not going to be fucking acting like Cristiano Ronaldo anytime soon, is he? He is the GOAT. He is the GOAT. <laughs> yeah, it's of undeniable. Something, of something. That's the undeniable. thing, is that you've got to find the GOAT. This is, he's of, like, you know, what, 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 Jean-Paul Sartre would have assessed, uh, assessed as the ingredients for a happy life is finding your aut authentic purpose. Exactly. And if he's done nothing else there, uh, he's found his authentic purpose. Well, mm. I'm glad. And th I suppose the fun of it for us is we can look at that and think, well, I wouldn't do that. Sure. But he has. Yeah. And did you, do you, so how, <laughs> how haunted he is in, in terms of like the, you know, g give me a naked Martin shock value out of 10 for that. That's oh, for Naked seven. Martin, that is a that is it's towards the top end of Martin's video, seven or I'd eight. Say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's not can much you, more you can, you can call, do. Can you recall a ten? Um, for maybe me, the, the omelet. For me, the worst one was the cum butter. <laughs> maybe the omelet. He made a shit and cum omelet. Yeah, and then ate that. Yeah, for me, the cum butty was the worst. Yeah, you really got the cum. Really? Why really what's got... wrong with the cum butty? Yeah. The way he ate it's the texture. It. And, and <laughs> he did eat it very enthusiastic. The way he ate it, and also it. as well the dryness of the bread genuinely sets me off yeah it's, it's the text You're such a fucking what i know it's so know, weird know, isn't it oh here we go i'm um, fussy i'm really fussy he's really fussy this is the one that he hates the most and i think this is relatively mild for naked martin to be honest with you. i cannot watch it see this is a custom one he says someone's name at the beginning oh look at the way he's wanking as well yeah. oh is he on cameo yeah, no, it, it, it does it privately. <laughs> I don't think Cameo allow this, to be honest. I think they've got terms and conditions. Look, you can see the Fulham tattoo isn't there in this video. Oh, right. Yeah. But yeah, no, he, yeah, I this can is early Martin. Martin. Oh, toffee. and he's got a little shaved patch, like a recently operated that's, on dog. Yeah, see, that's a new tattoo. tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is early can in this. Yeah. yeah. Why is he wanking like that? I think other... that's just how he wanks. Do we all wank differently? I think so. I mean, I... It. Don't wank like I'm what's it, what's trying your, to turn the pages grip? of an old book. Go for. I mean, I thought we. I thought that. So I thought it's a standard. When he's giving somebody like the, when he's at, when he's at an Everton game, calling, yeah. you know, uh, Alex a woe be a wanker for having misplaced a pass, although he's playing very well at the moment. Sure. Would he like go like that and then go? Oh yeah, but when I go this. Yeah. There oh, we go. I do mine with my pinky out, so I feel posh. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, there Look we how go. dry that bread is. Well, it's not anymore, is it? Well, it's very much that's moistened. That's what it. fucking makes me disgusted is the fact that there's going to be fat globules of cum on otherwise globules. dry bread. Yeah. Globules? <laughs> globules? What's wrong with that? That's a word, isn't it? Stop yeah, showing yeah, off. Yeah, don't it's a word. Yeah, it, it is it's a like, word. You can't argue with I'm that. I'm not arguing with that. Stop but, trying to show off in front of our food. Like, it's not going to be. It's like it'll be able to just spread it. It's not Here globules. It's not. Yum, yum, yum. Ah, chewing on his cum till the tough bits pop. Pop, 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 pop. Tastes like porridge, but it's not porridge. <laughs> I can't uh, deal with that, man. Yeah, see, I, I think the uh, the dog sh the dog uh, dog food and shit is worse than the. Oh, cum. I found that last video eminently watchable. Oh, to totally, totally. Have we got any other? Do you, yeah, um, we've. Just What's the worst thing? This is all in my folder, isn't it? Is it yeah, we've got a little folder just yeah, you for you. Yeah, you have your own oh, folder. That's yeah. Um, so we've. Hmm, what is the worst one? What's the tree surgeon? That's uh, the tree surgeon is the one that actually uh, on a previous episode with Dean Coglin and Amy, yeah. uh, they were well, from the Mild High Club. They referenced this video and someone found it and sent it. In oh, let's it. have a look then. It's someone doing tree surgery really badly. Right? Okay. Not going well. So uh, C there's no death, so we can't. Well, I mean, it is from cgore.com, so yeah. I think you know what to our, our sister website. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. It, tr it snaps that. No, oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> no, he's not dead. He just wishes he was dead. Dead oh. his face. His face has come off. Fucking face. Oh, shit. <laughs> Doesn't he look like Predator? Shit. Shit. <laughs> he looks like Predator, doesn't he? Oh, my God. 
Oh my god! Can we watch it again? That was funny. <laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> so, no, he's so he cuts the wrong bit stupid, and it makes it, and it. Don't do three sides <laughs> It's like his nose. It's like his little floppy nose. Whoa, oh, he uh. looks like he looks like Cyril Sneer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my God! What? Why aren't you? Oh, oh my! Is that what the inside of everyone's face looks like? It is if you smash a tree into it. Oh. Do you know what? The absolute temptation just to reach into his fucking hole in his face and just shout hello. <laughs> hello. Throw a penny down it. <laughs> He'll need his cum butty blended, won't he? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be gnawing a cum butty with that face. So, yeah, that's the perils of tree surgery. Uh, it looks pretty there bad, though, go. to be fair. Yeah, that is pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, do you want to see one more before we go? One uh, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. up for. I'm up for. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you found what I. Yeah. What I, what I don't mind and what I don't like. Oh yeah, totally. Well, here we go. Here's some <laughs> heavy machinery. No thanks. Fucking bastard, bastard. Uh oh. Can I just? Uh-oh. No, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate wow, you. Wow, that is a. She's taking it well. She has taken it very. Well. Her arm is dead. Her arm is dead. Her arm looks like a flounder afterwards. That's it's how they make chicken parmo. <laughs> oh. So she very casually reaches into the back of a machine like an idiot. Reaches over there, presses the switch, and blam! She is re- really calm, isn't she? Yeah, she That's takes- shock, though, isn't it? It's shock. Because her arm is flat. I think the thing is that what's happened is it's immediately come down on her arm, yeah. and she's gone... My fault. Yeah, she can't, she that's, done that's that. why she's got to go. That's on you me. Dick. I did that. So if yeah. I if I scream in pain now, yeah. that's just gonna. I'm too embarrassed to scream. It's like when I stub my toe on some shoes and I'm like, the fuck, and then I see they're mine, and it, you have to <laughs> immediately uh, wind it back in. Yeah. From who the fuck? To, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that, that right. is that's that, it's incredible. I've never seen a human sort of limb look like that before. No, there you go. See. So I'm glad. You've never seen a face look like that. I wonder what's happened. You've never seen a sandwich. I expected the arm to change colour. What with the kind of it will it will do. Oh, I'm sure it'll change colour eventually. But also, that arm's not uh, a survivable arm. No, that's coming off. It's coming off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't think arms go back to shape from being that flat. No, her bones are powder now. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Good luck to her. Yeah. Yeah. But that one was no, on her. You, yeah, it was her fault. But, uh, interesting story, won Paralympic archery last year. Oh, that's really brilliant. Yeah. It's not she? true, but... Uh, no, 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 yeah. but it could be. <laughs> could be. It's just, we'll, we'll think well, how, Have you ever watched Paralympic archery? Yeah, I have, yeah. And what... Like, how many one-armed... There are some, and like I saw someone who uh, like uh, they do archery with their feet, and it's incredible. Oh, and you and you could have a little attachment on your elbow. Yeah, exactly. Where you yeah, just you pull, the pull thing it back. and like pull yeah, off yeah, like yeah, that. that. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. They, they find ways to do it. They're very resourceful. The they disabled. are. They are. They are. Yeah. Get into everything, don't they? They do. They do. <laughs> little wasted sinkers. at the Paralympics. They should work in you know industrial kind of problem solving. Yeah. What logistics? If they weren't so. Well, fucking... if their arms get crushed, it doesn't matter, does it? It's already dead. It's already dead. <laughs> oh, well, if you were going to choose to have your face taken off by a tree mm-hmm. that, or a crushed I'm arm. Having arm. I'm having oh, me arm. Oh, arm, 100%. The face is way worse. I do have one Look, worse, I mean, but like, I don't, we don't need the, to. The, the fucking face thing is irrecoverable. The arm yeah. thing is, you can hide that with a big coat. Can like. we... <laughs> Can we put into um, order uh-huh. uh, of preference? So yeah. we've already... And where are we putting... Uh, bollocks bike. Bollocks bike's uh, the w- second worst for me. Last place for me is having sex with a fat person. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think probably bollocks bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd, I'd sooner have my. I'd bollocks rather bike have. Than I'd rather the bollocks bike than the face. Yeah. Yeah, because you got two bollocks, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, well, speak for yourself. Uh, have you only got one bollock? Four. Oh, <laughs> I got four as well. For a minute, one for each of my kids. <laughs> um. <laughs> Like Val so Kilmer in a each Tombstone. One, each one I got two got... guns. One for each of you. Uh, just each, each of his bollocks just has one big sperm in. Yeah, yeah. Comes out like a trout. <laughs> got to tickle it. <laughs> Every woman that I impregnate. 
Do you know, you've just reminded me of something. I know this is stupid. Oh, well, here comes a segue. So I thought I had motor neuron disease yesterday. So my... Um, Prada Willy is more likely. My... Um, I, 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 was, I was sat on my phone, right? And I was scrolling on my phone and then I stopped and my thumb started twitching. Yeah. And I was like, that's weird. And then, so I just put my phone down. I was like, I've been on my phone too much. And then I was letting my arm rest. And then my thumb kept twitching, like, involuntary. Yeah. I was like, well, what the fuck's going on here? So What I st- could possibly be wrong with your health? So I started to, like, I started to, like, you know, go like this and try and, like, loosen it up. A couple of magic tricks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, so I, I, I finished my coffee, and then I went and had, like... Still had a coffee. Yeah. A little... Seventh of the day. Well, yeah. Don't know why well, you're shaking. Fifth, right. This is it. Right. He's on his fifth coffee, and he's like, why am I shaking? Now? So... I've I, eaten all the I don't brands. know why I'm shaking so much. So I've only good. had so I've only had twelve coffees today, and I'm all of a dither. So I did a. <laughs> it's not like you work in that factory. <laughs> so I um, what are you look at me like that for? I'm just confused by that. So um, uh, yeah, I had a little walk around the house just yeah. to sort of walk it off, and then <laughs> I he tried again. And my thumb was still going like that, and so I googled like twitchy thumb well i don't know why i googled but i googled yeah. like what is the symptom of like having a twitchy thumb mm-hmm. and the first thing that came up was motor neuron disease yeah i was like i, I cannot live my life like is that. is that the one that rob burrows has got i think is that yes. the one that stephen right. hawking's yeah. got yes. yeah 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 yeah. it's a pretty bad stephen one. hawking's had had yeah had, past tense, but yeah. also like survived longer than most yeah he, he did very yeah. well with it right he's got, uh, he uh, was smart stephen darby uh the Ex Liverpool and Swindon right back also has it. Yeah. Anyway, I was shitting myself, yeah, and then right. uh, I looked at the second one, and it said, "I'm not running any marathons for you. <laughs> if you get Martin Year on, you're on your fucking own." Well, I think it was just because I've had too much coffee. Yeah. Yeah. It's cause you're... I think we were there quite early on in the story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doctor Brown over there <laughs> diagnosed you pretty smart on that one. I've had to do many gobbies today, <laughs> and I, I feel. I've been beside myself. I better go on a Google and see what is wrong with me. Oh no, I've got that famous scientist disease. <laughs> Did he sound like a, a little Britain character? <laughs> he sounds like you. He sounds exactly That's like not you. Not how I sound. He sounds exactly like you. Um, People in the comments, let us know. Does that sound like Freddie? It does exactly. Uh, brilliant. Yes. Let's just let's, finish this. Oh, like, oh, we, we were trying to before you brought up your brilliant shaking story. <laughs> Just want to see you going hitchhiking like this. <laughs> um, thanks for being here, Alfie. It's been great. Where can people find you, mate? Uh, they can find me on uh, the internet, uh, specifically uh, Instagram, Alfie Brown Comedian. And also there's a special that I have. Uh, two specials You've available. You've got a couple on, on YouTube, haven't you? Two on YouTube and one on Amazon Prime. Nice. Uh, watch the Live in Liverpool. Uh, and then if you oh, like so that, cool, watch the man. other ones. Like, it's, uh, like, the way it's shot's dead cool. I like, on the absolutely roof. love it. They it's did lovely, such mate. a great job. Yeah, no, it's, it's properly brilliant. It was made with, have a word, wasn't it? It was, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's class. So, so do check that out. Uh, Alfie's really good at stand-up. Hey, thanks. Yes. I have... Not him. I agree. Do you have anything to shamelessly plug, except for your asshole? <laughs> No, I was going to uh, mention a time when uh, I watched you in Edinburgh once oh, and uh, you were doing a work in progress show and it was very funny. And you oh. made a joke about Frank Lampard's mum that made me laugh. And I was the only person in the room that laughed. And I thought about it twice more on the way home and laughed like out loud yeah. out of my face. And I can't remember what it was, but it was so specifically unnecessary that it made me laugh. So hard. Mm. Yes, I think if it was just... anti Lampard, I'm on board. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. Mm. It was anti anti Pat and by proxy Frank. Fantastic. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I... go and see the special. Uh, it is very good. I once got booed off stage to making a joke uh, just after the League Cup final between Arsenal and Chelsea, uh, when uh, John Terry swallowed his own tongue and the. Uh, the Arsenal physio, Pat Lewin or something like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, saved his life by pulling his tongue out of his throat. And I posited to the audience, to many boos, that actually he was not doing his job as a physio correctly there because what he should have done was realised that John Terry was actually an injury that the world had <laughs> and to let him die would have him <laughs> performing his job well. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> that's fucking great i uh, applaud both the joke and the message behind it thank you so much sir I fully agree have you ever been booed off stage 
and I've, I've not i've refused to leave like i'm not leaving because someone's booing if you're having a bad time i'm staying i got booed off stage and then um i went i'm not going anywhere you know like yeah. we all do we go i'm not going yeah. anywhere and hopefully they kind of reward that yeah. gusto with some like oh you know good for you yeah. and mike Monero came on stage and went listen i've got a gig to run here mate you let what leave wow i've been booed Whoa. on before i've been booed <laughs> on i've been booed as i walked to the mic i've been brought on stage by a hail of biscuits once yeah nice yeah. gig of your life <laughs> is that like a fucking performing seal <laughs> right i'm trying to end this episode let's go oh, uh, that will soak up some of the goffy in my stomach <laughs> Get on, get on our Patreon at <laughs> patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod. It's three pounds a month. You get loads of extras. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, we're going to be back again. Uh, in it's the simple face he does as well. Yeah, he does a simple really accurate, face. Really he doesn't even accurate. know he's doing it. He just sort of does a. Hey, yeah, no, he knows he's doing it. Ah, Come on. I'm just saying goodbye. Finish the show. Right, we're leaving. Fuck off. Damn.